and welcome to another youtube tutorial video from football test in this tutorial video i'm going to look at the meta formation the so-called meta formation the formation which most gamers use it has been used by most gamers over the years and it keeps on getting better and better people use it and they dominate their opponent let's see what really this meta formation is all about so i'm going to again use man city because well i don't have a united fan i love to use man city because in fifa they are team is better than ours currently but we'll get there and we'll beat them very soon so i'm using man city and to bring some 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 sort of diversity i'm not going to play against liverpool like i usually do let me play against um let's see which team goes which team goes let me play against paris Saint Germain. so city against paris Saint Germain. i'm just going to use this two teams just should so that you can get to know the meta formation in fifa and why people call it the meta formation so let's get into it there are two formations so by the meta formation is actually the 4 2 3 1 but there are two types of 4 2 3 1 in fifa there is the 4 2 3 1 wide and the 4 2 3 1 narrow because of my playing style and the fact that i want my players to be close to my strikers they should be close to each other so i can play my one twos and stuff like that i like to go with the narrow so that they will be close to each other so let's get into it i'm going to use the 4 2 3 1 narrow let me sort my squad out and let's do some talk about positioning. Okay, so my squad is set. This is the 4 2 3 1. So you have four back line, you have two holding mid for this who can. Uh, provide protection to the back four. You have three attacking midfielders and three and one striker. So that's a 4231. So with this formation, when I'm playing, I usually go with someone with space here at the front. So instead of going with Agro at the front, I go with Sunny at the front because of his space. Sometimes this, this formation your opponents can decide to keep the ball and you'll find it difficult. So I always prepare for every situation my opponent will bring. So if my opponent is going to let me keep the ball, I can adapt and play with this formation this formation is so good that you can change playing styles you can decide to keep the ball you can decide to come back defend and break on the counter attack with the way i set up my team i set up my team to prepare for all these situations so that's why i have sunny at the striking position not a girl so that when my opening decides to keep the ball and i'm not able to control the game and i need to break fast i have someone who can get in behind and get me the goal so i have sunny up front because of his speed which is 96 then you have your three attacking mid for this so i put a girl over here and i put my over here a girl at the left right left attacking mid foot and my at the right attacking mid foot well for this formation when i'm picking a player to play my team or to play a particular position that's the left attacking and the right attacking mid foot i go with someone who has kids i like to kill the boy a lot it's an effective way to score if your players are close to each other so you give a couple of fun to a space openings then you kill the ball so basically that's what i do it works for me so i keep on using it so i go as a cover of 83 because he's going to kill the ball i have my right footed player at the left side of the midfoot and my left footed player which is marius i have him at the right side of the midfoot so they can both come in and kill the ball marius has a curve of 84 which is good for me the next position i'll talk about is the central attack midfield so the central attack midfield this is the position where the number 10 we usually call it plays he is the heartbeat of the team he's the one who is going to control the game get a ball lay the passes off so you need someone with good vision once in a while you should you will get into the striking position so you need someone who can also score and in this formation i usually like my central attack midfield not for that to join and help the the holding to me for this so you need someone with a work high work rate and bernardo Silva is one of the players i like in the city team he's attacking minded so you go for it get you the chances score the goals for you create the chances for you but also he's also hard defensively so when you lose the ball you are defending you will come back and come and support them at foot so i need someone like that we were like two central defensive midfield i go with one ways more like the natural cdm someone who stays back doesn't usually venture for it so i have fernandino so someone who just protect the back for when i'm attacking then i go with one who is very attacking minded so here we have the brainer is so attacking minded so uh, i have the brainer in this position the thing about players i put in this position is that they should be able to take long shots they should be able to head the ball 
they should be able to find passes they should be able to kill the ball and the Bina is like the complete midfielder in fifa he can do all that he can cross he can shoot from distance he can kill he can hit he's just got a complete midfielder so that's why i put the brain over there let's get into the instructions with the instructions i leave my striker which is sunny as getting behind drift wide he's going to drift wide so that space creates in the center for aguero mares and sunny and so to exploit so maybe in a gameplay he drifts wide, then he pulls a left central back or a right central back because of a strand, it pulls them away, leaving room for my midfielders to exploit. Then my left and right attack midfielder, I put them as still forward, get into the box, still forward, get into the box. The reason I do this is that because of the movement Sunny creates, it saves the opponent defense and sometimes the ball will be at one end. I need someone at the other side to head. So I go or Myers to make the running behind. This, make the running behind to cover the space and he has left so that it gets me an easy goal. It's very effective. With the attacking midfielder, the one who is going to control the game, we leave him at free roll so he should be able to move all over the park, get involved, get the ball, spread the play, and all that. With your defensive midfielders, you need one who is defensive minded, as I said, and one who is attacking mind. The defensive minded one, you put him at stay back, cover center. So his job when you're attacking is just to stay in front of the back for give them some protection and when you are attacking and all your players you are short of players who attack you can also allow him to come forward by tapping the keza the change keza when the boy is facing him then with my more attacking method which is divine in this case i put him at cards passing line and he should get forward so he best way to join the attack so he comes in late sometimes he comes in late comes to get a long shot sometimes he joins in early he does that um, depending on the position of Sova. So if Sova should drift right because of the free room or go somewhere, the banner will quickly go and cover that position. Because I'm going to leave my left attacking method and my right attacking method as stay forward. I don't want to be caught on the counter, so I'm going to put my left back and my right back as stay back whilst attacking. Okay, let's get into the tactics. This style you can go with press on every touch or balance. Press on every touch, computer will press for you when your opponent doesn't take good care of the ball. You miss passes the ball or something, your, your team will press. But this thing is not all that effective because sometimes you do not want to press because of the situation. When you press, it leaves you exposed. So I don't usually like going with this. I go with balance. I can do the press myself. You can do the press with the game pad. So I can press myself. When I want to, I feel like I can catch my opponents off guard, I press and get the ball, but if not, I don't worry myself, I can sometimes drop back, so that's why I keep it in balance. Offensive style, I also go with balance, and with a weight of 4, because I want my players to be close to each other, I like to play them closer to each other, that's why I go with a weight of 4. Players in the box, corners, free kicks and all those things, it's up to you, how you feel like playing. So that's the meta formation. Let's get into the real gaming action and see how the meta formation works. Let's get into it. So we get into the action. So we pass the ball. We are going to observe passing play. So in this situation, our opponent decides to set back and defend. So we just keep the ball, move the ball from one side to the other, trying to get him to come out and press. But if he decides not to come out, he can still move the ball through him. So yeah, we try to move the ball through him. The only thing you have to do is that when a player is free, you pass that player. The ball goes to Bernardo Silva, but you don't need it. So always give the ball to the spare man if you want to keep the ball. Just take your time and give the ball to the spare man. So when I get the ball, I don't do that and I lose the ball. So if you give the ball to the spare man, you always keep the ball. But if not, you are going to struggle. So they get an outside decision and they get a free kick. They take the ball. As you can see, there are seven players defending. The CAM has joined to defend, as I said earlier on. There's so much players back, no space, and he shoots. We get a ball. This formation, you can decide to break quickly. So we get a ball. We are on the front foot. We are not waiting for them to settle. We are on the front foot. A group pass is given. And that's why I like to put in a pace striker. So Sunny gets the penalty. So the instruction we gave to Sunny, get him behind drift try. This is how it works. He drifted wide so that he could get a ball, pulling the central back, which is that yellow al al along, and yellow makes a mistake with his tackle. So Agro steps up and converts the penalty. So it's that easy to do. Just take your time. If you want to press fast, go quickly. So again, they get 
a free the ticket. Our players have well organized. Have a ball. Eight players or nine players behind. When you lose the ball, your right attacking me for and left attacking me for the well, sometimes you join in if you are being overloaded. Yeah, I decided to press for the ball. But I did it at the wrong time and I considered. So be mindful. If you decide to press for the ball, the person is very good, but if you decide to press for the ball, be mindful of how you go about it. So we start again. This formation also allows you to play quick direct football. So if you want to be direct, go for it. Only forward passes. You don't move the ball sideways too much. You just give forward passes. So with so many options, a true pass, a girl is seen and he scores. Having top finishers in your team can help so that in situations like that they can score. Not everyone can score from that angle, but a girl has a high finishing. That's why it's good. Again, seven men defend them. Seven men defend them, sorry. And Bernardo Silva joins him to defend. We are we are trying to cover every place, no space for him. We get a ball and we're on the break again. Sunny makes the run through and we get a ball to him. So having a pacey striker is really, really important. The get be, getting behind instructions was really key for him doing that. They get a ball. I try to press. So this is how the pressing looks like when you decide to press with the game pad. I press, I get a ball. When he decides to press, he can shift the ball to the wings. Use your left back to get involved. You stretch his opponent, but he, uh, in this case, the ball doesn't go through. Again, they get a ball. Too many players around, no space for him. We get a ball, we try to stretch. We see space down here, so we send the ball down. So we'll be moving the ball from the left to the right. It unsettles their team. So what can make the run? Bernardo Silva tries to find him by couldn't. So that's how it works. If you have no option, you can use your left central back to help. So this is the second half. The ball is kicked off. Again, we have the ball from the back. We keep the ball trying to cause them to press. But if your opponent decides not to press, you can move the ball quickly. So if he press, move the ball behind. If he decides not to press, still keep coming and get the ball. Yeah, we give a true pass. Sunny speed comes into play here. If you observe the goals we are scoring, Sunny speed is key. He is key to the goals we score. So your number nine is very important. Some people like to go with someone who can head the ball. If you prefer to cross the ball a lot, I, pre I advise that you put someone who can head the ball instead of speed. But I like to go with speed. That's why I play Sunny over there. Again, so many are defending. They decide to press. You lock the ball to the wings. You already have three players waiting. Just that in this case, I girl made some bad decision and we lost the ball. So again, we get a ball. The thing is, with this formation, we try to crowd the, the front part of the box, leaving no space for him. Another chance, we are on the break. We get a ball, we go direct. So we can go direct, we can decide to keep the ball. I see the banner free, but his shot is blocked. They get the opportunity. Too many players crowded. I lose the ball again. But there are so many players around. Get the ball back. Because of the way I'm playing, if your opponent would like to attack forward, bring a lot of players forward. So you get the ball, you have four on four. Yeah, girl gets the chance. It shoots and it's blocked. So the four on four is really key. If you can have scenarios like that, you score a lot. Yeah, the corner kick, I tried to do something audacious. I hit the ball, but it doesn't go through. It hits the defender. But I experiment with this kind of stuff. It usually works when you put them off. Again, the opponent goes long. We get a ball back, and we look like we're on the break. And once you get a ball, we try to go on the break. If he is, if he comes back, then we try to keep the ball. So the opponent, is, I try to set up a chance for Maris to kill, but he doesn't get a ball. Well. Again, seven man players coming back to defend. I sometimes keep a secret player on the bench, another PC player, just in case my opponent's defenders are getting tired and I bring him on. So, in this case, I keep styling. So, when your opponent gets tired and you bring players like this on, when they run in behind, they will be difficult to catch. So, I bring Sterling on and try to tell Sterling to play in Laura Sunny's position. So, so many players behind, no space for him to go. We get the ball again. The ball goes to the keeper. He decides not to press, so we keep the ball and stretch him. No press on the ball, so we are keeping the ball. A space is open as we shift from left to right. Maris gets in behind. 
he gives a cross. I don't know how Cam Sterling doesn't shoot, but he says to chase the ball. And we lose the chance. But that's it. If you are breaking quickly, move the ball from left to right. Moving the ball from left to right, you get space at the other side. So if you start from the left, your opponent will move to the left to come and defend. Then you send the ball to the right, creating space. Yeah, Agro comes to kill the ball, but the keeper is too good to save it. Again, the attacking numbers, you get a ball, and it's a quick break. Sterling makes the run, and this is what I'm talking about. The moment he gets in behind, there is no one to catch him. I slow down. Try to get the ball to Agro. He couldn't control it. The ball gets back to Sterling, trying to set up a shot for the Bruyne. But the shot is blocked. Agro gets the ball again. Your player is too fast. He makes a run for it. He shoots the keeper seals. So that's why I always go with a secret player. So this is the end of the YouTube tutorial. This is the meta formation. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. Maybe this week you would have club system we'll look at club system in our later video i hope you like this video this is the meta formation use it let me know your comments and views don't forget to like and subscribe to our page and leave any comments behind thank you very much for watching